Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, we are talking all about the law of attraction. So on my channel, I like to bring a wide variety of topics. I try to keep it around health and wellness. And so today I wanted to dive a little deeper and talk about law of attraction and six ways you can manifest anything you want into your life. Basically in layman's terms, the law of attraction is basically turning our thoughts into reality. It is our ability to attract anything we want into our life that our mind is focusing on. So basically, if you focus on negative, like poor me, nothing's going right, that's when nothing will go right and continue to have negative things put into your path. But if you are positive and you are saying positive affirmations and just dreaming about things you want to manifest into your life for good and better, then eventually those will actually turn into reality. I'm not joking. I have manifested so many things into my life. The guy I married, the house I live in, the career I'm going into, literally everything. And if you wanna see that video, comment down below because I'd love to do one on just all the things I manifested into my life and how it just worked out. But today I just wanna dive into six different ways you can manifest things into your life. So my first tip, and this, in my opinion, is the biggest one, and that is to embody the feeling of whatever you are manifesting, embody that feeling of when it happens. So the way I recommend doing it is whether you wanna set an alarm for every day or once a week or write it down, whatever it is, you need to sit there, close your eyes, and just picture that feeling of whatever you were trying to manifest into your life, whether it is love, friendships, a career, weight loss, you name it. You need to really envision what that day looks like down to the detail. So I'm like, let's just, for example, for me, my next thing I'm trying to manifest is growing my YouTube channel to 100,000 subscribers. So the thing I do is I close my eyes and I think about seeing my name, Jenna Lack, and underneath it, next to the subscribe button, I see 100K for 100,000 subscribers. And I, I truly envision like what it looks like in detail, what my page looks like, how I'm feeling inside, the type of bottle of champagne I'm gonna pop, who I'm going to tell first, um, literally everything. I try to just think of every detail so I can make it as real as possible. So that is the biggest tip is really making it feel as real as possible because if you still have doubts in your mind like, well, I don't know what it looks like, you know, I'm not there yet and it's confusing and I don't know, then you're putting doubt into that manifestation, into that vision. So you need to literally embody and envision exactly to the detail what the day looks like, you know, how you're feeling, what you're wearing, who you're surrounded surrounded by, like whatever you're manifesting, nail it down. So my next little tidbit goes along with my first one, and that is when you see somebody accomplishing what you want to accomplish, you celebrate it like you did it. You need to put that energy and attract it to yourself. So that's another powerful thing to do, is that energy of what you want is all around that person and all around what they're doing, and you need to celebrate it like you did it, and then you will attract that energy into your own life. So instead of getting jealous or angry that maybe somebody else beat you to the punch or got what you wanted, celebrate it like it was yours. Act like that was you and that will come into your life that much sooner. Okay, so my second tip is to just journal about it every day. So I like to keep a journal next to my nightstand and you don't have to journal about it you know, every single morning and it's rigid and you meditate and you journal and you embody it. Because over time, I understand like it's exhausting and sometimes you just don't have time for that. So I like to just keep a journal around. So when I'm making steps towards something I'm manifesting, I write it down. Because when you write it down, it is that more put in print, right? Um, so say, 
now I'm at 500 subscribers. I would write that down and I'd be like, hey, I'm halfway to getting monetized, you know? I'm almost on my track to 100,000 subscribers, right? So it's just like big milestones that you're making every day. Write it down, put it in a journal, and then it continues to remind yourself that you are working towards something and that it's happening and you're putting in the work so the universe can put in the work too. Okay, so my third tip and I'm sure you've heard this one before, is affirmations. And I don't mean ones where you put a little sticky note on your mirror and you go, I'm beautiful. Those are great too, but I'm talking about writing a specific detailed thing, whether that's in your journal that you write on the very first page, or sometimes I like to write it on my computer, print it out, cut it, and then just like uh, tape it onto my nightstand. So every morning I either see it, I read it, I just, I refocus my energy on that is what I'm heading towards. So one example I like to do is my husband, before I met him, he had a huge little piece of paper affirmation page on his whiteboard. And I remember when I first was coming over to his place and hanging out with him and stuff like that, I would read it and I was like, that's so cool that he reminds himself every day of like the person he wants to become basically, right? So fake it till you make it. What you would write on this affirmation page would be who you are in that moment or who you are in the future that you want to be, right? So the way you would go about it is starting with broader details and then going into the more specific ones. So like on my husband's page, he was like, you know, I live in Orange County in my dream home or mansion with my beautiful wife who's super into wellness and nutrition and, you know, just really helps us live a healthy and active lifestyle. And I have a cute puppy and two, you know, healthy babies and my career is booming and I've got high-end clients from this person to this person and this person. And this is what I'm into. This is how much money I make each year and blah, blah, blah. So what you want to do is get really detailed down to where do you live in, you know, five to 10 years, whenever you want this manifestation to come, you know, what do you look like? Where do you live? What's your body like? Um, what are you eating? How much money do you want to make? You know, who do you want around you? Family, a loved one, you know, kids, all that kind of stuff. Get really specific and just write a short paragraph of what that is and then print it off and put it on your nightstand and you can just look at it every morning or read it. And this is another great way to slowly train your brain to just start thinking and manifesting and saying it every day so it becomes more and more into your reality. Because sometimes we forget that, you know, we need to sit down and embody the feeling and journal and all this stuff. But if every morning you just have a piece of paper you look at and you go, okay, you know, I'm 35, I'm living in my dream mansion, I've married my dream girl, I've got two babies, I've got a teddy bear dog that's a cockapoo, you know, I make three million dollars a year, this is the car I drive, you will see it slowly starts to happen. It's insane. So try that one out for sure. Okay, my fourth tip is another sneaky way, and this is to do a vision board. But before you skip ahead and go, nah, nah, I'm not into DIYs and crafty stuff. I'm not talking about getting out a big poster board, cutting out magazines, because honestly, who even has that stuff laying around the house anymore? Um, what I did, and I'll pop it up here, is I just went online and started Googling, you know, fitness images or nutrition, um, you know, couples in love, babies, stuff like that. And I started piecing together a fun little board that had the aesthetic I like, the body I want, you know, what I want my relationship to look like throughout the years, how healthy I want to eat, you know, the friends I want to have, the vacations I want to take, some little quotes here and there of just positive things to remind myself that I am pushing forward and I'm doing good and I'm manifesting this thing into my life. And the way I like to use this is I just took it and put it as my computer background. So I see it every day. It's not necessarily like I'm looking at it and intentionally putting effort into it, right? Because some of these things you might think, oh, well, you know, I'm go, go, go. I don't have time to just sit down and journal. I don't have, or I don't have time to do this or that. A great way is just to do a digital vision board. And if you want to do physical, do the whole poster board by all means. But 
do that, set it as your phone screensaver, your computer background, whatever you use and see every day, use that and I will guarantee it starts to get in your mind, you start to see the images, you start to think better, you start to be more focused, productive, and it's just a great sneaky reminder of something you see every day without seeing it. Okay, for my fifth tip, and this is an easy one in my opinion, is you want like, like energy, right? So you want to be like the things that already have the things that you want. Does that make sense? So basically my fifth tip is to start to surround yourself with that energy. And I know sometimes physically that can be challenging, right? Letting go of friends, toxic relationships, you know, family, whatever's holding you back. So my biggest thing is just start with social media. Who do you follow online, you know? Do you go on there and you feel bad about yourself or do you go on there and you feel empowered and you feel great and you're thinking about these things that you too want in your life? So a while back, I went on and honestly unfollowed so many people. I mean like high school friends, college friends, like people I just don't need to be seeing their SHIT anymore, you know? I just was like, I'm over it. They're giving me bad flashbacks or bad memories or just like they're not progressing in their life. So I don't want to be associated with that type of energy, right? So it's all about what energy you're exuding, embodying, what you're surrounded by. So I suggest just going on your social media and following all the people that are embodying what you want in your life. So let's say that's more money. You know, do you have a lot of friends stuck, not doing anything, not progressing, not growing, not reading, you know, not achieving greater things? Unfollow them they're not gonna notice, <laughs> trust me. You can even do, I think, mute, right? So they don't even have to know you and follow them. Um, and then go out and seek out the people you want those things of, right? So what was my example, money? Go out and follow people who are doing the things you want. So for me, I started following more people who were in the health and wellness space, who had subscribers and the audience that I wanted and they embody the energy that I am. So not just people who had 100,000 subscribers, but actual girls and females who are all about empowering others and the science behind, you know, diets and intuitive eating and just feeling your best, those promoting good relationships with your body and food and yourself and just had really good killer content that I want to be around. Those are the people I'm following now and I'm not following anybody else, right? So the whole idea is to put the blinders on. You've got one goal one manifestation and you're going in that direction. So get on social media and go unfollow all the things you don't need to be seeing. Okay, for my sixth and final tip, this one is so easy, you guys. It is all about training your brain overnight. So you've probably heard, there's a ton of YouTube videos out there you can watch, but some of my favorites I can link down below, but Neurogym by John Asroff, he has a ton of brain trainings that you can listen to in headphones or just have your phone on overnight and you download it to your phone and it just plays all night long and you're training your brain and it's sending all these vibrations and signals and putting you into the manifestation zone and it is incredible. If you just go on to YouTube and look up um, law of attraction, manifest what I want, whatever you want. There's videos on there that run for like eight and a half hours long that just play these amazing sounds that train your brain to manifest what you are thinking about and what you're wanting into your life. And it helps you just align better with what you're doing. And it's so cool because you can do this as you're falling asleep. You can do it when you're driving in your car, um, overnight, like I had said, it's insane. So think about all the ways you possibly have extra time in your day that you could just be listening to something or getting more focused and aligned with what you're trying to manifest into your life. All right, guys, so that is it for my six tips of law of attraction, how to manifest anything into your life. If you want me to do another video on how I manifested things into my life and what exactly they were and how I did it, comment down below because I'd love to do more videos about this. Um, I have actually taken a lot of spirituality courses and just learned so much in the woo woo space. And I want to kind of bring some of that on here and just to open your eyes to what's possible and that there is so much more going on in the world than, 
you know, what the basic health and wellness sounds like to you. So if you like this type of content, please give it a big thumbs up. It really, really supports my channel. And don't forget to subscribe down below because I post videos every Wednesday and Sunday. All right, thanks guys. Bye.